Hello! Today I wanted to do a review of the Vera Bradley Priscilla Pink hand, 100 handbag. I had wanted something in the new pattern for summer and I picked the 100 handbag because I had not tried it before. wasn't sure how I'd like it because it is kind of a smaller handbag compared to what they usually have um, or what I usually get. And it has two straps and it has one pocket on the front. You put your keys in there or if you have a, a smaller phone. I'm not sure if the larger phones would fit. I have a pretty small phone. This is my little guy from the zoo I got with my kids so I kind of keep that around. The zipper, it has two zipper pulls. So you open it up like that. It goes down about halfway on the side. As you can see. Inside I also have a lot of Vera Bradley to organize it. There are three quilted pockets on this side and also three quilted pockets on the other side. And you can fit a lot in this little handbag. Like I said I wasn't sure if I'd like it but I've been using it for almost two weeks now and I found that I can easily find the things that I want. It pretty much holds everything. Um, the one thing was my checkbook. I cannot I usually fit it in one of these uh, quilted pockets, but it's it's too high and uh, will will not close. So I have my checkbook in there. I've got I think it's called a tune-in Vera Bradley tune-in, which has my just has my headphones in there. I don't have anything in that pocket. And this one I have um, a Vera Bradley pen and pencil and then a Sharpie. And I've also got just a little notebook on my other pockets. So I still have, I have one free pocket still. I have a, this pocket knife, um, a little pill organizer. And I have the, the Vera Bradley card fan. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it's pretty neat. Uh, it has all your cards and gift cards and things. I think there's about slots for 10 of those. And they just fold out like that and I can hand it to the clerk and they scan the back right through the plastic. I also have on clearance um, I got the Vera Bradley envelope, small envelope and I thought I had a regular envelope around here. You can see the size of like this is a regular piece of paper folded. It doesn't quite fit if you were to try like any sort of letter you get in the mail or anything. It's a little bit larger. But the envelope's too small for it. It, it won't fit, say, a regular piece of mail. Uh, it, it is able to fit, like, photos. And I have some coupons and things. Olive Garden. Um, I have some coupons and things. has a little zippy. Zipper pull. It has a place to put ID if you want to keep it in there. Um, it could make a cute little clutch. Very thin, you know. You would just have your essentials in there. But I use it for my coupons mostly and also for when I get receipts from the store. Then I have the item I carry everywhere, which is, I think it's called the Carry It All. Or the All-in-One. I think this one's the All-in-One. And there's room for my phone, which is LG, pay as you go, um, track phone. It fits snugly in there and room for your ID on the other side and inside room for I think there's four card slots four card slots and uh, room for change and you could put some cash in the back so if I'm just running into the grocery store sometimes I just grab that 
And I have two of these Vera Bradley coin purses in here, which I find to be very versatile. This one's holding my iPod Touch. It's got my iPod Touch and my transmitter, and it could have headphones in there, but I keep my headphones separate because sometimes I use them for my Kindle. And in here, uh, I usually keep my camera. I'm carrying a Canon PowerShot EL FH PH 300, and it fits nicely in there with plenty of room. I also have a Sony T90, which fits quite nicely in there, and I also put little memory cards and things like that that I need. Would fit a spare battery as well, no problem. And then my last item is my biggest item, which is a small cosmetic. And basically when I'm trading purses and stuff, I can just grab all my little things. And at the very least, I grab my, my carry-it-all or my all-in-one and I grab my small cosmetic. And in here, I don't normally put my, uh, my hairbrush in here, but I thought I would show you. This is a small hairbrush, but still, I can fit a lot of things in this little cosmetic. Small hairbrush. I've got some gum, I've got some Advil and little packets, um, some little wet wipes, uh, Tic Tacs, some certs, I've got a lip balm, uh, two lipsticks or lip glosses, Mary Kay. Um, I have a uh, hand sanitizer, one of the small small ones, um, a lipstick, a couple of uh, Mary Kay sample lip glosses. I have two different eye drops because uh, I have dry eyes and also uh, prone to allergies so I have, depending on what I need, some tissues. I have a small pin flashlight and I have a barrette and some bobby pins. I can't use ponytail holders because my hair is not long enough, but I also keep um, a safety pin right inside there because you never know when you might need one. But um, anyway, I wanted to show you all that uh, this little 100 handbag can fit all this stuff. It's a lot of stuff. And uh, it, as you could see how it fit in the beginning, that's how it fits. And I don't have any problem getting to the things I need. It's very easy to do. And I'm very organized, at least in my handbag. And thanks for watching. Bye.